Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg with Trading the Pips. So today I want to go over solo, right? Buying solo and doing a call credit spread. So this will be my first video on doing call credit spreads. Haven't did one before, but I have actually done multiple options contract and I have one call credit spread contract on solo right now. So right now, looking at the price, it's $4.31. We are in pre-market. And as you can see, we have two contracts because it requires two legs, two contracts, right? Value is negative $12. Today's return is zero right now. And total return is positive $3 or positive 20%, right? You see the cash collateral needed for this trade to go through is $50. And then you see right here, it shows it solo $5 call. Um, which is a buy call expiring on the 26th and then we have a sell call right here for four dollars and fifty cents one sell right so it's showing you it's at 19 and 7 right now those are the actual prices that's going on right now but when we click on here they actually show you what's actually going on with me i got it at an average cost of seven and then we'll scroll back and i got this one at an average cost of 22 right so the difference between 22 and the price that is at now 19 is three dollars so that's where we've made our money at price um kind of going down moving around it so anyway we're going to scroll back and now we're back at the main screen for solo now if you want to go ahead and do this call option you would go ahead and click on trade solo options and first thing you want to do is click on sell call don't get these confused go straight to sell call and if you were repeating the one that I did you would click on the 4.5 or $4.50 sell call it's going for 19 cent right now I got it for 22 but you would click on it right there right so now you have short call $4.50 call negative 19 cent and that's times 100 right total credit is 19 cent times 100 shares is 19 dollars the next thing you would do is click on buy call you would click the five dollar buy call which is going for seven cent right you click on it and what Robinhood is going to do is it's going to recognize it at a call, as a call credit spread so now it's going to be 450 from the five dollars which is a 50 dollar difference in terms of the collateral needed and it's going to minus out the 19 cent from the 17 cent which is going to give you 12 cent right or times 112 dollars when you click on this and click on one they're saying they'll give you 13 dollars for the deal but if you want to keep it the way it was you can click 0.12 to make sure it goes through review the order and it's telling you everything that's going to be needed so once again minimum credit received is $12 the collateral needed to put up is 50 because that's the difference between the 450 and five dollars and then you see the order summary 450 call sell to open five dollar call buy to open you would click submit and then it would go through right so in this case because we went with twelve dollars it would probably go through right then if we went at 13 possibility that it wouldn't get filled because sometimes it doesn't give you um your contract right then when you're going at ask price so or at bid price um so what we're gonna do is go back to my contracts as you can see there are two four fifty and five dollars so this is how it looked once you actually have gotten into the trade it will show up on your um robin hood account and if you didn't want to actually go through with the trade right then you want the probabilities of what may happen beforehand then go over here and type in options calculator right options calculator and from there what you're going to do is click on credit spread and then it's going to show you credit spread calculator and then under symbol or the ticker symbol you're going to type in whatever your symbol is in this case it's going to be solo for me you're going to click on get price there's the price four dollars and 47 cent you're going to scroll past long option and go to short option and then you're going to click on select option now you see the option chain pop up today you want to click the 26th of march because tomorrow is when it expires or whatever you choose to pick i, I choose tomorrow because i want to collect money real quick and what you're going to want to do is click 
that's the bid price this is the ask price this is the mid price and that's the ask price so let's just put 19 19 cent one contract times 100 is 19 dollars as you see it says total cost 19 dollars but this is a sell call which means you're going to be credited with 19 dollars and then you're going to go back up to loan option and you're going to click select option and then we're going to click the one that's a little higher than the 450 which is the five dollars and we're going to click the mid which is seven so the difference between the seven and the 19 is twelve dollars like we said before right it shows you right here spread spread price 12 cent net credit which is actually twelve dollars calculate it's showing you the difference you see estimated returns for solo at 447 on 25th of march 2021 entry cost is twelve dollars so they're going to credit your account twelve dollars maximum risk is thirty eight dollars at this time at a price of five dollars at of expiration right so the maximum return is twelve dollars that's the most that you can make on this deal and the max that you can lose is 38 right so max return is 12 max loss is 33 you break even at 462 so if the price is at 462 at expiration you break even basically your 13 or 12 dollars is wiped out you get your um you get your collateral back which is 50 back and you're all good right so you're risking 38 to make 12 with a $50 collateral put up so this is actually uh, one of the graphs we're gonna get up out of the graphs right now we're just gonna use the table um, of uh, maximum risk so that you can actually see what's going on so if we were at four dollars and fifty cent right now you would see that today and I think we're at 447 so we was going at at 445 right now today we'll be at zero meaning we, we we're at no money made or no money lost but tomorrow on the 26th we'll be at a positive five dollars and at expiration we will be at uh positive 12 right so it'll be the full amount of premium received um, at expiration if we go up to 450 we'll be negative one dollars right now today and tomorrow will be positive three dollars and at expiration, we'll receive our full $12, right? And our $50 back, right? So that puts us, that puts us at $62. Now, once we go up to $4.55, we'll be negative $3 today and positive $1 tomorrow. And at expiration, which is tomorrow after uh, four o'clock, we will only receive $7 out of the 13 or $12 that we receive, right? So we're only going to make a little bit out of that premium that was received to us, plus our our fifty dollars that we had to put up for collateral. As the price goes up, it continues to go negative until we're out of all the premium that was received and is pretty negative in the actual collateral that was put up as well, right? So if we go all the way up to 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 uh to five dollars we would lose a full 38 which is the 38 at risk and we'll minus that off from the 12 right so we would lose the majority of our money and we only came out with 12 dollars off the entire deal because that's the money that they gave us up front right so if the deal goes the opposite way which we want it to go which is down you can see that the max that we can make all together is $12, which is the premium that they paid us. But it shows you basically what's happening. At $4.40, $1, the next day, at expiration 12. So it's going to always be expiration 12, but you can see we're going to be positive one day and positive even more the next day, right? And it's going to continue to fall down. And that's what we actually want to happen in this particular stock. We don't really want it to go up and we don't really want it to go anywhere past that four dollars and fifty cent mark which is where we are selling it at. and right now it's at four dollars and thirty six cents so our goal is to wait and see <laughs> make sure hopefully make sure it doesn't go above the 450 and go from there right so anyway that's how you do a call credit spread Explain simply.
go to your um, your options credit spread calculator and I even set up a spreadsheet so I can actually um, keep track of everything that I have going on in this case for this one called credit spread which is last one solo 100 shares shows you the original price or the, the collateral that was needed fifty dollars cost me fifty it's active until tomorrow afternoon what um, they gave me in terms of premium fifteen dollars haven't paid anything out it shows a new cost basis 35 so that's pretty much the max that I could lose on this particular deal or if I had if I actually owned the 100 shares what it would um, um, mean to me right so anyway you can always go to their website take a look at solo these are their EV cars that they're putting out it's up in Canada and uh, just so you know that hey man this is a real deal it's not just a junk stock that's not actually in play um, these cars are real and they actually are moving and uh, hey go from there so you guys have a great day I really do appreciate you guys liking subscribing commenting on the videos I'm gonna continue to put them out and hey, hey if you got any um, ideas hey shoot me a shoot me a comment and let me know what you want me to do hey guys have a great one bye